Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. Uh, dump you there. Ditch the shotgun for now, actually. Revert to type. Only a few, a, a few zombos to deal with at this point. We've dealt with the big old spitters. Quite looking forward to the PS5 reveal tonight. Of course, by the time this episode go goes up, it would have been and gone. What do we think is going to be revealed? No, that wasn't part of our deal. <gasps> Conspiracies. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Hmm. What about my family? If I play my cards. <gasps> No, not Barry. Let's do it and investigate. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Suspicious. Yeah, we've read all this. Come on, Joe. There. We've got that ready. Daggers equipped, probably going to need those. Come on, in here, you. <laughs> yes! One hit wonder. I love getting those critical shots. Mwah! Perfection. That will never not be satisfying. It just won't. No, climb the box. Discard, yes. If I don't need it, why keep it? Self-defense gun. More boulets, thank you. Can ignore these zombies when they get up, really. Don't really need to waste ammo on them. Oh, 
Uh oh. We'll just leave him. No need to bother. No, no reason for us to bother him, really. Let's go do with our old friend Neptune. Now, I could be wrong, but I know I know Neptune is a planet, but I'm pretty sure the planet was named after something else. Was Neptune from Greek mythology? I can't remember. Right. Let's build this bridge. In fact, while I'm pushing these boxes, I might look that up. Apparently Neptune also sells kitchen, bathrooms and bedroom stuff. Not really what I was looking for, Google, but thank you. That solved that mystery. Now there we go, Wikipedia for the planet Neptune. Let's see if there's... Quick browse this to see if there's anything... Ah, it is named after the Roman god of the sea and has the astronomical symbol, whatever that is. A stylized version of the god Neptune's trident. Ah, okay, so it's from uh, Roman mythology, not Greek. I legitimately didn't know that. I thought it was kind of weird that the shark could be named after the planet. There you go, you learn something new every day. No Richard this time. Can I outrun them this time? Ooh, nearly. Two for two. Yes, discard it and get in the door. Valve is it? Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure, open valve 3. Valve 3. Got the map, thank you. Hi! Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. I've gone to the wrong one. Yep, need to unlock it first. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Oil pressure lost. That's right, we know which valve to open. This is not the time. Okay, fine. Reaching 
reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. I'm I'm on it. Okay, relax. Okay, so calm down, love. I'm all on all over it. Alright, now we can drain it. Problem solved. What have we got here? A mix of two green herbs. Let's go for three. Ooh, granades. Thank you very much. Nothing else here. All right. Hey, fishy. Sharks aren't technically fish, are they? Something else to look up? Alright, push you in. And pull this. Okay, Google. Are sharks fish? According to Wikipedia, sharks are a group of elasmobranch fish characterized by a cartilaginous skeleton, five to seven gill slits on the sides of the head, and pectoral fins that are not fused to the head. I don't know if you got that, but sharks are a group of elasmobranch elasmo fish characterized by whatever that big word is, cartilaginous skeleton. Okay. So they are classed as fish, just a very special kind of fish. That's actually the first time I've used that function on my phone. I should probably use it more often. Gallery! Right, this area should be clear now. Yeah! Dum-dum rounds. I love my dum-dums. We'll save those for later. This has been a very educational episode today, hasn't it? Discovered that Neptune was a Roman god of the sea and sharks are a special category of fish. Not how I saw this episode going, but I've learnt two things today. I feel accomplished. Yes, discard. Now we'll go sort these bees out. These murder bees. Or murder hornets. Whatever happened to the murder hornets that we were getting threatened with 
Another media lie. They are, without a doubt, the, the least threatening enemy in Resident Evil, I think. Right, take the map of the residents. Yes. There's a hole in the wall here. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Oh, please let there be a Silent Hill reveal tonight. I would love that. I miss Silent Hill. Alright, before we carry on in there, let's go dump some stuff off. I'm actually enjoying doing this really, these really long playthroughs. I think whichever finishes first, Final Fantasy VII or this Resident Evil playthrough, I might start going through Silent Hill. Because it's been so long since I've played the original games. And I stopped at 4. I, don't, I remember not really enjoying 4, but you know, things might have changed. Especially if tonight there is a Silent Hill announcement. That, that will definitely get me excited enough to go through with it. Right, let's get rid of the herbs. Oh, we've got lots of health. Grenades. Put you there. You there. You there. And you there. Uh, yeah, I'll take the red book because I will need that. I uh, don't think I'll need anything else. And the best thing about this playthrough, we can actually mix the chemicals. So we won't actually have to waste shotgun shells or any ammo, really, fighting Plant 42. Because Jill can mix chemicals, Chris can't. And I, I like the fact that there are characters that have their strengths and weaknesses. Like in you know, Zero as well, Billy couldn't mi mix herbs. Rebecca had to do it. Right. Give me these. Uh, right, let me get the pictures up. Gallery, there you are. Okay, green is six. No, damn it. Red, three. Yellow, five. Well, orange, I guess it's supposed to be, but that very pretty much looked yellow to me. Right, if I remember rightly, water counts as one. But how many jars do we need? Do we need four? I think it's four we need. Must be because they've provided us with four. Okay, let's fill one with water. Right, so it's one plus three. Hang on. So I don't have to keep going back to it. Let's take another picture. Okay. That's that. Let's get the picture up. Okay. One plus three is four. I think red... You're, yeah, you're three. So one... Plus three is four. Four plus six, that should be yellow. Yes. Four plus six makes ten. Then we need one and six. There we go. To make seven, 
10 plus 7 to make 17, and then 3 plus 17 makes 20, and that should make the V-Jolt. There we go. Excellent. Now we can go and uh, throw it on the plant's roots. Welcome to Jill Valentine's Gardener's World. Last week, my, my colleague Chris Redfield gave you the advice that if you've got a troublesome weed in your garden, shoot it in the face of a shotgun. I'm going to show you that you don't need such excessive means to get rid of annoying weeds. <laughs> oh dear, excuse me. The event tonight doesn't start till nine o'clock, and it's what only half past four. And I keep looking at the time. I'm like, is, is it is it nearly time yet? I'm really excited. All right. Another big old fish. And here we have the root of the problem. Yeah, I'm not going to give it my day job to become a comedian, don't worry. You probably don't need the bottle anymore. Throw it away? Yes. Well, technically there were four. So, bottles game. All right, back up we go. But in order, in order to go up, first we must go down. Gratuitous butt shot. Not that I'm complaining, mind. Jill got cake. Alright, let's go see our work in action. De weeding with Jill Valentine. Grab this herb quick. And then I probably need to grab the key for that door because I haven't actually grabbed it yet. I hadn't forgotten. 
I was just put it. I was just delayed it a bit. How did I? Yeah, I do have the book. Good. <sighs> oh, another red herb. Double O three. The lesser known agent in the Bond world. Right, we've got to do this book puzzle, and once again I'm going to have to censor out the boob. Just in case YouTube decides to give me uh, a warning for nudity. I mean, I'm not a big, I'm not really on the radar in terms of YouTube, so I could potentially get away with it, but you know what? I'm not prepared to risk it. And thus, Plant 42 was defeated. If, however, Weed goes back with a vengeance... Then you'll have to go to Extreme Solutions. As Barry will now demonstrate. When shotguns and weed killers fail, flamethrower works every time. I thought it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Well, we all know. We know the truth. Now we have the helmet key. You coming, Barry? Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. All right. I know when I'm not wanted. Fine. Let's go talk to our buddy Wesker. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah, I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Why does everyone want to get rid of me? I don't like it. But Jill, crush the bees! You've missed. There we go. Yeah. Squish the murder bees. 
All right. Well, this has been an exciting episode. We've learnt some facts about sharks and Neptune. And we killed a giant plant with a flamethrower. I mean, you can't get more exciting than that, really, can you? Um, right, before we sign off... Let's get that and one of these. Perfection. Dump you there, dump you there. Good. This place is now fully clear and we can end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Resident Evil, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.